Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you five cool ways that you can use the crop effect to create different effects and results. So you can find the crop effect under the video effects folder, under the transform section, and right here it's the crop effect. And if we drag this onto the clip, you'll see that it gives us a couple parameters, just left, top, right, and bottom percentage. So you can crop in in all different sides. It also gives us an edge feathering amount, so it can be like a more feathered crop rather than a straight line. And also the zoom will allow us to stretch it out rather than crop. So if I reset all of those parameters, the first effect I'm going to show you how to do is kind of like a crop wipe transition. So if I have two clips standing a little bit overlapped from each other, so if I overlap this one from this one, and I take the top clip, with the crop effect on and I add a keyframe, let's say from the top, starting at the point where I want the transition to begin. And then I move forward and I bring that top crop all the way down. We can create a simple wipe transition in this way. So that's one just because the other layer is underneath. So that's what ends up showing, but anything could be underneath. However, one cool difference between doing it this way and just with the regular wipe transitions is one, we can add feather and we can also crop in other ways. So if I wanted, I can do a vertical crop and a bottom and a right crop at the same time. So I could make things kind of crop into a side center box, which can give you a little bit of more custom control as opposed to just using the stuff that's in the video transitions folder, which could also work fine as well. But just with that crop effect alone, you can do lots of custom wipes and transitions. Another effect that we can do, if I just turn off all the keyframes, is we can do a split screen effect. So let's say I have these two clips directly on top of each other. I can just simply add a 50% crop on the right of the top clip, and now I have this cool kind of split screen effect going on. Now we are losing the right half of the clip, but we are seeing everything underneath show up instead. Now the third thing we have is if we're working with a text layer, and let's just say I type out the text. Another thing we can do with the crop tool is use it to create kind of like a text reveal effect. So it's similar to the transition, but if I add the crop effect onto this text layer, so if I click the stopwatch icon to toggle animation and add a keyframe, I can make this keyframe start at 100%. And then as I move forward, I can make it go back to zero. And what this will do is it will slowly reveal the text almost letter by letter, but not exactly. But we get this text reveal effect that happens. And you can do it from top to bottom, right to left whatever you like. The fourth effect, and this will work whether you're on a video clip or text or shape, but if I check that zoom box like I showed you earlier instead, now we get a slightly different result. We get a kind of stretch into place effect that happens. So the crop will kind of slide and stretch into place. Let's say I did that on a video clip instead with the zoom. We start at 100. We get this crazy glitched out pixel effect. And if I take that and make it go to zero, you can see you can get some kind of experimental type of stretches back into place. So I've used that to create pixel stretching effects by stacking and masking the crop and doing things like that. And remember anything I just showed you there, let's say I was working with a shape layer as well. I could use the crop effect in the same way to change the shape of this to fit what I want, or also to animate with keyframes, a shape or lower third reveal. Lastly, let's say I'm just working with one clip and I want to create kind of a blinking effect. If I add the crop and I set some keyframes, so let's set a keyframe on top and bottom, starting at 0%, and then I move forward, I make those both meet at like, let's do 55%, a little bit past halfway. And then I go a little bit forward again and I make them back to zero. In this way, I can create a cool blinking effect. So we get a blink that happens. It's a bit too slow, so let me make it a lot faster. But setting, but your timing and pacing aside, you can do like a cool little blink. And if you want to make it even more like a from the perspective of, eye, of an eyelid blink, you can add a little bit of edge feathering and add other little blurry effects if you want onto the clip. 
but we get a little bit of a blink there. So that's another way that you can make a blinking effect or even like a crop open or crop close transition. Even though the video transitions does have the barn doors section, which also does that if you wanted a little tip. It's another way you can do those kind of crop open or close effects. So if I click that transition, I can change it to be like top to bottom and reverse. And we get kind of like a crop close effect with the barn doors as well. But those are five ideas and examples on how you might use the crop effect and some of the different tools and features it can have. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out some of my other tutorials for more effects and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.